Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are doing the test on the Ferguson T20 following the hydraulic pump rebuild and lift cover assembly rebuild. So please don't forget to like and subscribe, ring a little bell, get a notification to my videos as and when I release them. Leave a comment to let us know what you think of the tractor and how well it's going. As you will have seen in the previous videos, like I said, we did the hydraulic rebuild on the pump and the top cover. Um, we cleaned the mould boards up on the plough and a friend very kindly let us use their field before it went back into crop. So we took the T20 up there and had a little play. Unfortunately, you can't appreciate how nice it smells running on kerosene. But it was a lovely, lovely evening, probably around 26 degrees, I reckon it was, in Celsius. Um, and nice and therapeutic. So, I personally haven't ploughed in years, so I don't think it's uh, going too bad, to be honest. I mean, the furrow's got a bit of a curve in it down the bottom where it goes from where I ploughed the previous couple of nights um, which is on the left as we look at it now and <clears throat> that was before I actually decided to give the mold boards a clean I thought I'd just stick it in the ground and it would do the rest for me but unfortunately it wasn't the case and it carried a lot and a lot of soil so I probably spent as long at the end of the run cleaning all the soil off the mull boards as I did actually turning the ground over. So that led to the video then of cleaning the mull boards up with the um it was like a nylony plasticky abrasive pad thing which works really really well for getting rid of corrosion. It really does. Um and the difference was quite amazing to be honest in terms of how much better it moved the soil and how little it carried. But it was still taking a long time for the boards to clean up so I'm guessing that's because the cry steel, which the mull boards were originally made out of, take an awful long time to rust, they're going to take an awful long time to clean up as well. But yeah, overall I think the little T20 did a cracking job, no mechanical problems with it, no hydraulic problems and we had a lovely evening so once again a big thank you to my friend who let us use his field and we need to say a thank you to the drone pilot too for coming and doing the drone footage so I'll, uh, I'll be quiet now and let you enjoy the sound of the T20 plowing away <laughs> 